Hit me up. I did that 200 a little while later saying, talking about UFC 202. Am I right? 202, yep. right? August 20th, right? Yeah, they hit me up about UFC 202. And I said, I didn't even answer. I said, all right, well, I wonder what's going to happen with that, you know. And then, <clears throat> and then uh, before you know it, I was like, Training, training, and then I hear all this Mayweather, McGregor shit, and I feel like, I feel like that's just a big old publicity stunt to hide the fact that he got his ass whooped. So uh, I'm sitting here like, okay, and then uh, I see on the internet that he, they, 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 Dana and them went to dinner the other day, right? That was all over the internet. In in Beverly and, uh, Hills. Yeah, and they left. They left happy and laughing, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. And I'm sitting back, and I'm like, well, I guess, I guess I'm cut out of that whole deal. They're having a big old happy meeting about whatever. He must be fighting Mayweather. <laughs> I didn't believe it, but that must be what's going on, right? And uh, and then they called me the next next day, and they were like, or they called my management the next day and said, so are you in or not? And I'm like, what the fuck? Where the f what the fuck is my uh? Where's my dinner? You know what I'm saying? Where's my special meeting? <laughs> So, uh, so they, they, I think they started laughing with my with my uh, management, and they're like, "All right, we'll be down. We'll, we'll be down tomorrow at noon." Oh wow! And then they, and then they came out. Yeah, so they came out, and we had lunch down at Market Tavern, where uh, in Stockton, this nice, nice restaurant. I wanted to show somebody else that this isn't a bad place to live. There's nice places too. Right. And uh, so we went to uh, we went to lunch, and we had a talk, and. Uh, everything went how it did, and and they 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 uh they went they they went home, <laughs> <laughs> and uh I did I just basically told him what was up. I said, look, that was the biggest fight. This is that was the biggest fight they've had, and I believe, right? Me versus Connor was the biggest numbers they've done, or second biggest, or right below. If we are to believe the numbers, right below UFC 100, the talk is that it did 1.5 million on pay-per-view. UFC 100 did around 1.67. But this fight, as you know, your fight came together in 11 days, and it was just another yeah. number. It wasn't a centennial event or anything like that. So a pretty huge feather yeah. in the cap. Yeah, so, so it was the second biggest. It was yeah. the second biggest on 10 days. And uh, some people know, I mean, a lot of people know Conor McGregor is a big draw. But uh, I know... And whether they want to want to say it or not, that I put bigger numbers than anybody too. They just haven't had me on pay per view. They've been putting me on Fox cards, and then any time I've been on a pay per view, I've been on a on a co main event or something. So, uh, so uh, someone else is getting the credit for my numbers, but I know what's what's really going on. If you look at the Fox numbers that I've been on from uh, the last however long they they stuck me on these Fox cards, and I was getting like three million, five million views on Fox. I believe, and uh, so I believe I have had a lot to do with that that draw, you know. And I think a lot of people know, and they know, but no one's gonna say anything. So I said, I said that was the biggest, one of the biggest fights he ever had on ten days' notice, and he's the biggest draw that you've had, that you've ever had, and I I just beat your biggest draw. <laughs> so if you don't mind, I would like to I would like to be compensated better than better than I ha I was the last time or that they were trying to offer me because I've said yes to this fight with Conor McGregor six times. Yeah. And I fought him one time and I won the one time I fought him, you know. So you're giving me this up and down bullshit about whatever. And then they pulled the 200 card and I was all for it when I shouldn't have been because when the fuck have I ever got a rematch with anybody? Um, I've lost plenty of fights that I've won a rematch of those rematches of and I hardly lost I really actually won most of them I never got those rematches and uh, the people that I've tried to fight have been like no way I, I, I dodged a bullet on that one they'll never want to want that fight again and uh I ain't dodging no bullets you know it's like I, I beat that guy and I was like I'll fight me in UFC 200 and then they pull out and then the UFC, he, he pulled out and the UFC pulled out I never think the fight I don't think the fight was ever on I think they were buying more time I think that they, they uh, I think that it's all, and now they're talking about Mayweather shit, it's all a cover up and it's all trying to hide the fact that he got his ass whooped and that they want to buy more time to get better if we are going to fight. Hmm. I think the Mayweather thing's a publicity stunt. Uh, and it, 
it's great, great for both of them, you know. It's like they got the from boxing followers are gonna start fighting, following Connor. The the MMA followers are gonna start fighting Floyd, following Floyd, and they're they're all benefiting. And no one's losing there, so they're gonna keep the ball rolling, keep the publicity stunt going. But uh, every day when I hear about this Mayweather shit, I'm getting phone calls about, am I gonna take the fight or not? So I'm like. It seems like this is a pretty big deal. So can I get compensated for it? And they they they, they weren't uh, the happiest about that, but they weren't they weren't uh, they're not not talking to me about it right now. So we're, we're working on it, and uh, I think things are gonna work out work out get figured out.